Welcome to the David Ofula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. In the image before you, you can see Ledama Olekina, Babu Owino, Junet Mohamed, and Ali Hassan Joe. This is a meeting designed to discuss succession politics in specific. And in this video, I want us to discuss the ramifications of this new alliance in a post Raila era. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, this new alliance means two things. It now means that ODM has two camps. In fact, I would dare say three, but mostly we can narrow it down to two in a post-trailer era. Oparanya commands the Kisi and Luya ODM regions. That is the first region. But the Joho group command the coastal region. That is why Joho is there. Babo Winu is the representative in Nairobi. Ledama Olekina is their gateway into Narok and the Maasai community vote. This is going to be a very formidable alliance. Junet, in my opinion, is only an inconsequential figure there because technically he's supposed to deliver the Luo vote. But like I said, there's three groups. The third group, which is the Luos, are firmly behind Raila. Whether he is in AU, whether he is in Kenya or wherever he may be, this group is firmly behind Raila. There is no broker that can broke them out to somebody else. So Junet doesn't really bring anything to the table. In fact, in a post trailer era, he is one of the casualties, politically speaking, that's going to suffer. But if you compare the two groups, Oparanya is losing this war to inherit Raila. He has so far made zero progress in growing his sphere of influence beyond Kakamega. And I firmly believe that in a post trailer era where Raila is not around, Joho is likely to survive, Oparanya will not. Oparanya will either have to call it a day, quit ODM and form his own Luya party, because like I said, the Luos are firmly behind Raila. There is no inheriting the Luo vote for as long as Raila is alive. That one is impossible. But Joho is making moves. This alliance is not to be taken lightly. These people are having coast. They are having Nairobi. They are having Narok. That in comparison to Oparanya who only has influence in Kakamega politics, he's done for. Now on to the second question. Why is Joho forming this alliance? The first reason, he wants to vie for president and he claimed it publicly while in Mombasa and he did so in front of Raila Odinga. Here's the tip. Now in the grand scheme of things, if Joho actually clinches the ODM ticket, will he be the flag bearer at the ballot? That is a resounding no. He might be the flag bearer of ODM. This is just, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that he clinches. We're looking at best case scenario, he wins the ticket. Much as he might win the ODM ticket, he will ultimately be asked to either stand down or deputize Kalonzo Musioka. And if Joho is to deputize Kalonzo, this group will go nowhere. This is the best gift that anyone can give President William Ruto at this point. If you look at Kalonzo, he is unable to climb the mountain. He once said that these people will lay low like an envelope. No one from the mountain has forgotten that, including the statement that your name betrays you. So you see, Kalonzo has already sabotaged himself out of the Mlima Kenya vote. If you now look at Joho, who I'm assuming would be Kalonzo's deputy, his reputation equally is not good enough to garner votes from the people. When Saitoti went to parliament, he mentioned that some people are selling drugs in the country. That is not my words. 
in fact when he was saying it i was probably a very young guy these are things that were said long before joho had any ambitions to vie for president and saitoti said that joe is one of the people peddling drugs now whether true or false that stain is not good as you go into the ballot it will be weaponized against joho here's a tape from saitoti i have been informed the following are the honorable members yes. suspected yes. honorable bubi himself yes mr speaker that's what there is honorable joho so in my opinion if you put two and two together a Kalonzo stroke Joho ticket is doomed to fail. One has a tainted character, but he can speak, Joho can speak, he can convince, but that narrative from Saitoti is doing him harm even today. I wish he had done his best to call Saitoti to the side and beg him not to say what he said because it is raining havoc till today. The best case scenario if these guys want to challenge President Ruto, perhaps a Matiangi candidate, people might say he was a performing CS, maybe he'll be a performing president. It might confuse Kenyans a little bit. But this one of Kalonzo and Joho, it is very poorly aligned. It will not work. It cannot work. Ruto will mold them. They will lose very early in the morning. But either way, this meeting between Babu Owino, Babu Owino I'm sure he's securing his interest in Nairobi. He wants to go for governor. And uh, we are having Junet, who is just trying to see where he can survive. He knows without Raila, he will not be there. Ali Hassan Joho wants to go for president, but I'm sure he'll be willing to ditch his ambitions to become deputy president. He's been a governor, two-term governor. There's nothing else for him unless he degrades to senator. The only way he's up now, he's aiming for probably deputy president or maybe prime cabinet secretary if they clinch it. So that's what he's angling towards. And Ledama Ulekina is the gateway to the Maasai vote. Any foundation needs diversity, they have it, and these people cannot be ignored. Anyone who ignores this group is in trouble. Not uh, We're not referring to trouble at the ballot. At the ballot, they won't make it, presidentially speaking. But in regards to ODM politics, these are the people who are going to run away with the party. The meetings, Zimeanza, you wait and see. ODM is not going to be a Noparanya party. It is not going to be <laughs> It is not going to be a John Buddy party. It is going to be hijacked by these people. Failure to which? They will form their own party, which will have more clout than ODM in a post-trailer era. But that's just my opinion, guys. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.